Is your job dangerous? If you think your job is boring, would you want an adventurous yet dangerous job? Well, you are in luck. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the most dangerous professions in the world that you should know about. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. Believe it or not, there are a lot of professions that are constantly surrounded by danger. In this episode, you will learn about a few professions that prove to be highly dangerous. Aside from being dangerous, there are also a few common professions that you didn't know that come with high risks. These jobs are interesting and adventurous, but really dangerous. And you should know what these professions are. At number one, we have landscaping supervisors. What? Believe it or not, but this job has a fatality rate of 17.4%. This would be weird since we thought that actual landscapers or groundskeeping workers would have been the ones who suffer in this field. Although those jobs are still dangerous considering they are constantly being exposed to dangerous elements and sharp tools. But it seems landscaping supervisors are the ones who suffered most fatalities so far. However, this is due to the management traveling significant distances between job sites, which leaves them at risk of vehicle-related accidents. Who would have thought, right? These professions are not only dangerous, but some are also highly intense. Stay until the end of this episode to have an idea of what other jobs could be considered as dangerous. So let's move on to what's next on our list. At number two, we have construction workers. With a fatality rate of 18%, even with complete safety equipment, construction workers have it rough. Dealing with lethal tools, heavy weapons, and equipment is a requirement for people working in construction. But that's not all the danger that comes in working on construction sites. Steel beams and even walls sometimes manage to collapse on workers. Other risks include being hit by other objects and materials. Tough break, right? At number three, we have loggers. We all know that logging is among the most dangerous industries since you are 20 times more likely to die in this line of work compared to any other. Dealing with heavy machinery on a daily basis results in the most deaths that occur in the field. Deaths happen due to equipment failure and some trees falling on the loggers. Since loggers are consistently exposed to these elements, it's only natural for this profession to make it to the most dangerous. At number 4, we have aircraft pilots. Some of you may think that this is because of plane crashes, but it's not. Pilots and flight engineers are among the ones that constantly suffer due to overexertion and even stress and fatigue. Aside from that, they face the unexpected risks of flying even with a lot who succumb in accidents. This profession has at least 75 fatalities in a year. However, these were mostly caused by plane crashes. It somehow makes you rethink if this profession was considered dangerous because of overexertion or really just plane crashes. At number 5, we have the roofers. Obviously, being a roofer is a dangerous profession due to falls. Roofers have a 48.6% fatality rate with more than 100 fatalities every year. But then, they're vulnerable to several other risks too. Some result in injuries from falling debris, chemical burns, and sometimes even electrocution since they are also exposed to power lines. To decrease fatalities in this field, ongoing training and other worker safety efforts are being done. This should make the job safer for everyone in the field. Now, safety is a main concern for almost everything in this list. And knowing what's dangerous is essential for us to know the struggles people in their respective fields suffer as well. This episode is more than just teaching people what the hazards of each profession are. But aside from that, 
This teaches us to be a little more compassionate for the ones working on these fields. So make sure to stay with us until the end of this episode to know what other jobs are considered as highly dangerous. At number 6, we have truck drivers. Although this may not suffer the highest fatality rate, truck drivers see far more annual fatalities compared to those typically thought of as most dangerous. Getting behind the wheel is more dangerous compared to flying. Even just driving to your office is risky enough, so imagine how much the risk increases when you drive all day long for your job. A 24.7% fatal work injury rate is involved in this profession that equates to an alarming 918 fatalities each year. This means we all should take safety precautions on the road. After all, truck drivers are not the only ones who got involved in these accidents. At number 7, we have recyclable material collectors. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yes, recycling provides great benefits to the environment. But sometimes it comes at a great personal cost to workers. Facilities like small scrapyards and large sorting and composting plants often meager pay in exchange for dangerous conditions. These facilities have even received 80% more citations every inspection. Although it doesn't seem like a necessary job, it's a dangerous one. With a fatality rate of 34.1%, most of these are caused by just one party or both altogether. We should give a lot more effort to segregation now that we know how dangerous this job is. At number 8, we have farmers. The people working in the agriculture industry are more likely to die on the job than firefighters or police officers. Some may be lucky enough to survive tractor accidents or pesticide exposure, but still may face a lifetime of suffering with ensuing physical ailments and mental health issues which make it hard for agricultural professionals. Despite technological advances, they still have to work with a lot of heavy equipment and machinery, such as tractors and lawnmowers. And these vehicles are often what causes accidents in this field. This just proves how hard it is to put food on everyone's tables. At number 9, we have War Correspondents. Wars happen all over the world, and war correspondents are one way to find out news about it. It is as important as being a doctor, however, it comes with a higher risk. This is a very dangerous profession since the risks includes kidnapping, torture, and death. Since whenever you are in the middle of an action, you are considered as an enemy rather than just a journalist. These war correspondents are unsung heroes. And now, we're almost at the end of this episode. The last one is bound to both shock and interest you. However, other jobs like steelworkers, couriers, and mountain guides are also jobs that present a lot of risks and hazards in their own. There are still others that prove to be dangerous, but let's save that for another episode, okay? Why are you crying? <laughs> now, moving on to the last profession on our episode. At number 10, we have snake milkers. What? They spend their days pushing certain types of snakes into a container to extract or even milk the snake. You are familiar with how snake venom can be used for many things. It proved useful for medical research to produce anti-venom. But even though necessary safety measures are done, this profession is highly dangerous. What makes the situation worse is that the fact that the rate for snake milkers is surprisingly low as well. There are so many highly exotic and weird jobs around. This just proves how progressive the community is. The world is indeed an amazing place after all. There are more professions that make everything seem even more dangerous. So what do you think is the most dangerous profession in this episode? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. 
thank you so much for watching and until our next bestest video.